Hey, good morning, guys. We're, uh, we're playing on some projects, and we wanted to do some inlays of a variety of different colors. And honestly, when you start doing stone inlays and getting some precious stones, it gets really expensive. So um, I wanted to try a new technique where we take some sawdust that is uh, a mixture of hardwood and a little bit of pine. And the pines in there are just so color can be soaked up by a, a lighter wood. Uh, but I'm going to start by putting in about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of sawdust mixture and uh, just a little disposable cup. And then I'm going to take uh, some 70% iso opal, if I'm saying that right, uh, about half of that amount rubbing out the ball. So maybe about a, a half a teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to take some just basic food coloring you can get from the grocery store. Now I'm using a bread here and our intent is to get uh, two different colors out of this. One came with pink and one came with red. So I'll also just throw up that red. The hope is that if we can get a little bit of a lighter shade of red, we can make our pink. And, and if we just you know, intensify the food coloring contents or volume, then we can get a red. So we're gonna start off with this one and go ahead and dump that in. Stir that up real good. of this is to essentially get an easier inlay uh, that's not nearly as expensive and can be made kind of on the fly. So uh, we'll show you the results when it's done. So next, once we get it all blended into the, the color that we like, then the next step is to let that alcohol evaporate and let this mixture truly dry out before we actually start using it. So uh, I think I'm just going to fan it out and thin it out a little bit, just spread it out. And you can see it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's a, it's a kind of a dark red, almost maroon. Um, so maybe we, we used a little too much red, um, but this is a learning process. So this is, this is probably going to be our maroon. Might be able to make some Crimson Tide stuff out of that. Um, but when it's done drying, then we'll, we'll try it for the first time and see what happens. Okay, so we finished our sawdust that was dyed and this is our original sawdust. This is where it originally was. And so we put red in. So it's just a normal maroon red. Mm -hmm. This is blue and it turned into like a turquoise color. And this is just less red put into it. And I don't, it's kind of a weirdest color. I don't know where it'd be. And this is a green. So, and it turned into like maybe a lighter green. Almost like a lime. And these are all the things. We've got tons of it. So, uh, look forward to us doing stuff with the saw dyed sawdust, doing inlays and stuff. So, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more content, comment down below if you uh, have any ideas that you want to share. So, yeah, thank you.